welcome to Mouthful. <laughs> okay. I'm what are we making? What are we making? Oh my god, it's one of my dogs trying oh. to get out of the uh. door. Sorry, Snoopy. Uh, okay, I'm very excited about this because we are filming on a very hot day and we are about to make a frozen pina colada. I love a pina colada. And after that, we are making a fancy griddled tuna niçoise salad. Very fancy. Okay, pina colada, let's go. I like pina coladas. And getting caught in, in the, the rain. Sun. Oh. oh. Is it not sun? No, it's rain. It's actually a very sad song, but let's not go into Is that it? right now. Is yeah. it? Oh, okay, <laughs> this, by the way, is Dawny's favourite. She's just gone to the shop, so we'll have to save us some. We'll have to yes. save us some. No. Okay, no. If it goes, it goes. Very simple. Guys, number one, pineapple. Now, this, firstly, just reminds me of holidays. <laughs> what are we going to do? Put it on your head. Wear it as a hat. I reckon your mum would wear that as a hat. I reckon she would. She Andrew probably would. And would love it. So we're going to put some pineapple in. Now, we've also got ice. We've got pineapple juice. We've got coconut cream. And obviously, we've got some rum. <laughs> we learned last time, though, not to put the ice in first. Yes. Took about 10 minutes to, uh, to mix up. So we are going to put in all the liquidy stuff first. Well, starting with the pineapple. Should I just chuck all that in? Yeah. Yeah, chuck it in. So that's about half a pineapple. Did you know, a quick trick is to use frozen pineapple. <laughs> Sorry. Why did we not say that earlier? Also, where's, your, where's this fact come from? You love a mouthful fact. I possibly might have made that up just this very second. Really? Yeah. But that's actually a good quick trick. Then for our rum, we're using Bacardi. You want a white rum. And we're just gonna, well, surprise, surprise, go for it. Four, five, six. That's a huge amount of rum. Oh, get over it. <laughs> get over it. It's a frozen cocktail. You can't even taste it. Okay, what's next? Next is some good. Chris is very excited. <laughs> he loves, you love my measuring skills. I love it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris goes to parties now and is like, watch this. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Exactly. Coconut cream, we have got this, which is uh, 250 mil. Oh, you think you're so special? Should we put it all in? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Coconut cream Ooh. is gorgeous. Use it a lot in cooking. Yeah. Do you know that's gonna let that whole this is gonna taste of Hawaiian tropic suntan Do you know? I was literally thinking that. I'm not even joking. That's what this reminds me of. And then we've got some pineapple juice. This one's got a squeeze of lime in, which is really nice. Oh nice. So we're gonna put some of that in there. I feel like that's enough. Oh, I don't know. Or should we just try? Because we need to put the ice in now. You want this, no? <laughs> It's just basically rum oh, yeah. that has been wafted <laughs> past a pineapple at some point in its life. <laughs> I forgot I put that like much rum in. Like a tropical breeze. Okay, I better put you some more in. I mean, we literally opened this bottle. All right, that's enough. <laughs> okay, now, is this not too full though? Where's my max line? Oh no, we're in it. We're in the max bit. Okay, we're going to be all right. I really feel it. Like... I feel like we just need to turn it on. I'm and pray this <laughs> doesn't go all over my ceiling. Okay, here we go. Oh god, I'm really scared. Right, what we've done is we've actually now just emptied a bit of this out into another jug because we need more ice because we want this to be super frozen, basically, don't we? Yeah. We want it to just feel like thick, a thick like a shake. Let's pour this into the glasses. That's your perfect that consistency. That is absolutely perfect. I mean, you get your cherry on. Do you reckon it's going to float on top? Well, we'll soon find out. No. <laughs> 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 right, guys, let's have a mouthful of this baby. Right, guys, come and get a mouthful of this. Cheers. That's always cheers, Chris. Cheers. Got to look in the eyes, look in the eyes. Oh, look oh, around oh, the oh. Eyes. Here we go. That is like the taste of summer. Can't even tell there's half a bottle of rum in that. Mm. I can't taste any rum in that. I can't feel anything. Dawn, as the person that loves pina coladas the most. It's a good one. Happy? I'm happy. Just wish you were by a pool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what would go well with this? <laughs> Come on, Dom, what would go really well with this? <laughs> a tuna nice one. Oh, let's do it. Also, definitely thought it was called a nequois. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Stop it, just behave yourself, woman. Also, Chris just told us his favourite thing in the whole world is uh, seared tuna. So he's going to be very happy. Aren't you, Chris? You're going to be a very happy man, Chris. Second favourite after steak, yeah. Second favourite after steak. Nice. Right, come on then. Right, I am going to make the quickest tuna niçoise or niquoise, like you used to call it. No, honestly, because it's just the way it's like niquoise. What is it? French niçoise. No, is it? He's making that up to sound fancy. Can you stop saying that I make things up because I do know what I'm talking about. Honestly. For in this world, the basic ingredients are obviously tuna, which we're going to sear in a minute. But we've also got green beans. These are my favourite, favourite green beans. I pre-cooked these and then drizzled some olive oil and mm. lemon on top. Just set them aside. You can make these the day before, really simple. And also some boiled potatoes. These are new potatoes, fabulously in season at the moment. They're going to go on top too. And also some eggs. There they are. Yeah. You very kindly. Oh, <gasps> that was lucky. Boiled these Boiled. for us. Boiled. I'm going to show Such you a, a, a little, little egg hack in a little bit. But okay. Before we do that, we are going to sear our tuna. Look at them. Here's the tuna. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at those babies. Oh, mate, lovely. First thing we're going to do is drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Because when you're searing anything, you want a really hot pan and you want to Oil and season the meat or the fish, not the pan. So, a little bit of pepper. It's just so simple, isn't it? The flavour comes from the fish, right? So it's just simple, it's perfect. The flavour comes from the fish. It's simple and perfect. <laughs> I could be able to do an advert for you to say, the flavour comes from the fish. It's just simple. Second half, we don't want to see this bit. It's People boring. might want to see the second half. After my advert, they're fully invested. Oh, they might do. Do you know what I mean? So both sides, you want a bit of olive oil? Yes, please. Okay, olive oil. Voila. Gorgeous. This needs to go into a searing hot pan. Oh, is that why it's called searing? It's a bit like the red <laughs> wine vinegar and the white wine vinegar. Yes, it is. Hmm. I didn't know searing meant hot. What did you thought it meant? There's little lines that go on it. That's griddling. Good. Glad I've got a degree in English, everyone. Just so you do know, I do have a degree in English, but it was 20 years ago, so... Should we have some pineapple soup? While we turn up your griddle. A searing hot pan, and I am literally just going to pop the tuna steaks into the pan. The flavour comes from the fish. It's just simple and perfect. Oh, look at those beauties. Right. Oh. They are just going to sit there for a moment or two whilst we make a dressing. You went well posh then. Did I? You went, they're going to sit there for a moment or two while they make a dressing. <laughs> it's probably because I have a bit too much peanut claws. I expect so. Right, mm. so you're making a dressing. Are you using this little pot? I am. Um, very similar to dressing to what we Is this from my cupboard? Yeah. I've got no idea what was in this little pot, but it's from 2016. Well, it's, as long as it's clean, it it's empty, really so it's fine. So we're making a classic vinaigrette dressing. Yep. So a little bit of uh, red wine vinegar. He's not measuring, people. He's not measuring. Some olive oil. Yeah. Uh, mustard. Oh, you don't like mustard. Well, do you know what? I'm not the fan of mustard dressings, but this could change my mind. This is like a grainy mustard. Mustard. Oh, it's mustard. mustard. Uh, a lemon. Right, pop that lid on. Oh, God. Well, you're going to not shaking it in this kitchen, yeah. surely? If, I'm scared. What if this is from 2016? What if it breaks as you're shaking it? Uh, you're shaking it. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> you're scaring me. Okay. Oh, it's quite clever, though, doing it like this. See how it multiplies. Hold on. Let's take the lid off and have a little look. Ooh. Classic French dressing. Let's build this. What's the song with build in it? Bob the Builder. No, not that one. Come on, a good build song. Um, build, build me up. Buttercup, baby, baby what's the let me down? down. And then where's the one? We can't actually sing it because remember we haven't got the rights. Oh, yeah. Remember we've been told off for that before. I mean, that was hardly singing. <laughs> okay. So these Sorry, are... <laughs> Chris. What if it does now? How cruel. How cruel. Right. These are pre-boiled eggs and I'm going to show you a very fabulous little hack. Okay. I'm a bit worried that peel. I didn't... Okay, go on. Oh, yeah, they're God. the boiled ones. Right. Go on then. I... Oh my God, can you imagine if they were the boiled ones? Right, fine. so they, they go in here. Yeah. With a little bit of water. How much? Just um, that much. 
Then we put the lid on. It's going to be a nice. But well, I'm not shaking here. these ones. But you have to shake them, otherwise they won't. How long did you go? I'm sleeping. Sleeping egg salad, that sounds good. 12 minutes. Th okay. These are how perfectly much? boiled. Are they? Look, soft. That's how you want a boiled egg to be, isn't it? Alright, let's, uh, let's cut. Yeah, just pick the shell off. Exactly, Chris. And here's one was we made earlier. Right, shall we build? Let's so we're build. just going to build and then... Um, so what should I put on this rocket and... Rocket first. Rocket and spinach mix. Okay. Let's just put some lovely potatoes dotted around. Oh, look, nice. <laughs> God, you're so professional. I, always I forget, am. I always forget how skilled you are. Right? Yeah. Oh, come on, I'll do that bit. Scatter. <gasps> That's gorgeous. <laughs> Tomatoes, scatter them. You ready for this? <laughs> oh! That was pretty damn good, yeah, if I'm honest with you. That was pretty good. Yep. Uh, okay, some um, basil. basil that just needs tearing over the top. I don't know what's happened to this basil. But, yeah, but it is in my elephant cup. So <laughs> let's not worry about the fact that it's wilted in the heat. <laughs> it was not like that when I put it in. It's dead as a donut. Still. <laughs> well, it's not a dildo, is it? We've now got some olives. Nice pickled olives. What's going on with these olives? They're stuck in the jar. <laughs> okay, capers. Oh, yeah, I love a we caper. love a caper. Oh, I love a caper. Just sprinkle those over the top. Well, now, do you like anchovies? Yeah, I love them. Good. Does everyone like anchovies? Yeah. How do you pull this out? Just pull them out. Oh, no. I like the vinegary ones. Yeah. Now your egg. Oh, this is looking good, guys. How beautiful is this? And then, of course, the pièce de résistance. And then I'm going to lay the tuna onto the salad. Gorgeous. And then this whole thing, not too much because it's quite piquant. Just going to drizzle that over. That's yeah. Great. Yeah, that's it. Wow, Dom, this looks incredible. Right, who's ready for a mouthful of this? Sorry, guys. Who's ready for a mouthful of this? <laughs> right, let's get stuck in. Got to get a bit of everything, haven't you? Oh, mm. guys, thanks for watching another fabulous episode of Mouthful. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting with a quiz saying, it's so soft in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back next week. Bye! <laughs> See ya. <laughs>